the uh, starlets came. Uh, uh, Scotty Men uh, Winninger, I work on her last name, mm -hmm. came to me and said, Craig, we'd like to do something for the uh, Food for Thought program. We've heard so much about it. And I said, well, what do you do? And she looked at me like I was come from, <laughs> from Oklahoma. Uh, <laughs> and so she explained, and we said, that's a wonderful idea. Yeah. And what was really nice is uh, coming here. This is the mm -hmm. uh, first time we've uh, checked with the uh, Nike Community Coalition about putting on an act here, and it's mm -hmm. coming out, working out very well. It, it's a nice uh, venue as well. Mm -hmm. We got quite a variety show going on, and like you were talking about with Scotty Winnegar there, uh, and uh, they're they're but they're going to keep kind of changing costumes and, and going mm -hmm. out throughout the night. But uh, we got Carol Fasillo up there, and uh, I know that she's uh, Miss Senior Nevada right now, and she'll be giving up her crown next month. So it's good right. to see her up there. Right, exactly. And she's uh, quite a talented young lady. We really appreciate her. And uh, I didn't know that she was going to be part of it. And then uh, I went for an interview with uh, Carol, and she told me. And I was yes. really excited to hear about that. Yeah. A lot of the queens are here tonight. Yes, a lot of them. And I noticed that the uh, uh, some of the gals from Miss Golden Years showed yeah. up, too. So that's sweet. That was very nice of them to come and support their, I guess, not competition. It's just two different dance groups in town, right? Exactly. Um, the Food for Thought program has been having a lot of fundraisers this weekend. They were just talking about being short of just $11,000 for the uh, food drive. And this also helps. And you did a little speech up there about uh, why this is important. Yes. It's important because during the school year, the children that qualify for the uh, breakfast and lunch program, mm -hmm. those are the ones that we targeted and sent out information and, and offered the program to them so that they would be able to eat over the weekend. Because it was discovered by uh, Shannon Moore several years back that kids were coming, coming home from uh, coming, coming back to school and they had nothing to eat over the weekend. Mm -hmm. So she started the program and she came to us in 2011 and said the program has grown so big yep. and it's becoming so costly that we really need help in terms of a 501c3 and mm -hmm. some volunteers to help us. Well that's right down uh, Kiwanis' line. Our number one priority is children. Yes, and um, uh, during the summer months, the grants aren't there and the kids aren't getting their meals every day. And uh, the Food for Thought program supplements all those, as well as uh, I've heard that Smith's is giving discounts for the Food for Thought program to be able to shop there so that they're actually getting uh, quite a bit more food than you would normally get with your food dollar. Exactly. For an instance, a dollar buys us a big uh, box of uh of cereal, mm -hmm. uh, it buys us uh, four cans of the Vienna sausages, things like that. Smith's has been very generous in helping us out by doing that. You see, during the summer, because there are no grants and because there is no school, then we are pro providing seven, seven breakfasts, seven lunch, and seven dinners and seven snacks every week for all the children that are involved in the program. Sarah Lee, Sarah Lee. Not with Sarah Lee. Sorry, Mom! 